All right then. Hey, it's us. Hello. So we just un unboxed this, and we're going to save you the, the unboxing ceremony because I always thought that's kind of boring. Hey, look, what's a box coming in? Especially when you're dealing with a music store who unboxes about a dozen guitars a day. Um, this is a Nash. So that's, let's call this the Nash video. Bill Nash is someone who's been around the industry for a long time. Uh, Bill and I took a trip out uh, to go to a, a mutual friend's funeral in London where we met uh, out at the funeral and then we went to um, Abbey Road Studios together and I'm going to show you a picture of Bill Nash who hates to have his picture taken. He kind of refuses so let's sneak that in here during the thing you'll see Bill. This is uh, a Bill Nash, this is a 52 Tele reissue with a P90. He uses Lawler pickups, he uses high quality frets, high quality woods, builds his own guitars. They have a really remarkable um, resale too. What we find is people that look at Fender Custom Shop that maybe don't want to spend the extra money will look at Nash through the lens of that level of professionalism they don't have quite the options. They keep their options fairly limited. They're using mostly Lawler and DiMarzio pickups, um, but it is all very high quality. This guitar is an Ash Body 52 Tele Vibe, and um, they call this a T52. It has a flat pole broadcaster pickup. For all you Tele guys, anytime you see a Tele pickup where the pole pieces are flat, that usually means the output of the pickup is a little stronger. Pickups, tele pickups in the bridge position that have pull pieces that stick up and they're following the curve of the fingerboard, those pickups tend to be brighter, crisper, more of that traditional tele sound. The neck pickup on a telecaster is about a third less volume on purpose. Some guys like to have a P90 to complement and get a little more grind out of their telly. Now this P90, this Lawler P90 will clean up and dirty up plenty. pickups on that nice nasally out of phase sound and then the bridge pickup fun. So, an ash bodied flat pole brass hardware, which is a nod to original 52 Telecasters. Now I'm going to switch over to this, which we also got in recently, and this has the broadcaster pickup and brass saddles on it. Um, that is certainly an option for you guys, but it's a lighter weight guitar, and I'm telling you, it's much lighter weight, rosewood board. Uh, when you have this light lacquer on this maple board, you really don't feel that glassiness of maple. You get a little more singing sound. Rosewood gives you a little darker sound, darker in color, darker in tone. Now the pickup's full up. course bridge pickup and with that I'm sorry neck pickup slightly down you really get you're able to step back into the pocket a little bit
strong bridge pickup. <laughs> With these hollow body Telecasters, A, it's the weight. You can wear this guitar on the gig all day long. It does, acoustically, it allows you, as a songwriter, you can pick this up and um, hear the resonance of the wood. But you get a little less power out of the pickup. Now I'm going to play that other Tele real quick before we go to this Stratocaster. And... Uh, the solid body, the little extra weight in this same exact pickup gives you a little more juice. That is a lot of power for a telephone. Quality of the Nashes are good. You're always going to find really good fret work. They are doing custom shop level work in a small shop. These have been relatively hard to get. We sell more Nashes than we sell Fender, both in dollars and in numbers. And um, Nashes are really catching on as far as being uh, a boutique builder. Now this, any of you... Um, <laughs> This, of course, is a Strat, and if you Pink Floyd fans might recognize this color combo with this tuxedo, the white plastic against the black plastic against a maple board. This has a slightly V'd neck, and the back of the neck is always satin. The thing about these Nashes is they all have a little bit of dings and scratches. I know for some of you that really bugs people. At the same time, for those of you that are gigging and don't want to worry about whether or not your guitar is... There we go, whatever, doesn't matter because this is a stage guitar. It's meant to be used day in. Again, Lawler pickup. Middle. Two pickups. So if you want a great Strat, high-end pickups, good fret work, a slightly taller flat, flatter board, uh, nice dry wood, thoughtful details like the satin finish on the back of the neck, the Lawler is or the um, the Lawler pickups and the the Nash is something for you to consider. Uh, it really is. We sell a lot of Nash Tellies. We sell a little less of the Jazzmasters. Um, but they are, again, Lawler pickups, high quality, really good bridge, stays in tune, you can use light strings, and then um, all these strats that we have are really excellent guitars. This, just for a reference, is usually 35 and it is 24.15. There we go. Oh, yeah. Okay, so there's our Nash guitar video. Wait. End pose.